Well, this newfound group, bound on finding the wizard, continued on their way, guided by the yellow brick GPS device. On they went, and on, and on, and on, and on. Excuse me, sir. How much further, Sid? Hmm. According to my GPS, we should be there. Pretty. This must be Emerald City. This can't be it. It's not even close to green. Either way, it looks very scary. Your face is approaching the premises. Ah, oh, visitors. Hello. Welcome to Emerald City. <laughs> Some Emerald City. It's not very green looking now, is it? Uh, yes, well, we're doing a new fresh paint job. It'll be more properly emerald in a few weeks. Paint job. Oh, okay. So what brings you here, strange travelers? We came here a very long distance to see the wizard. Well, let me see if I can organize that for you. Hmm? <laughs> well, that was easy. Oh, falling. <laughs> Pardon me, gentlemen, but the interior smells like paint and Saturday night fun. If you just sit comfortably here on the stairs, we'll send the wizard out to see you immediately. So Sid and company sat down on those stairs, and time went by. A lot of time. If this is what they call immediately, I'd hate to be the one... Make way for the wizard! Thank you, Hopper. Welcome, gentlemen. I am the Wizard of Quaz. Winston, you may call me. Now, why have you come to enlist the help of the Wizard of Quaz? I forgot what I came here for. Hey, he came here for a brain, I came here for a heart, and Coat Rack right here needs some courage. I am not a Coat Rack. I'm afraid of coats. And what about you, little snail and dog? What can I do for you? Can we take a rain check on that? I mean, right now, Charlie and I are just here for a fun journey. Yeah, this journey has been a whole lot more fun than all the boring stuff down in flat old Kansas. I see. I'm afraid there's only one hope in granting all your wishes. You must bring me the tale of the Wicked Witch of the West. Only then will I be able to conjure up the magic to grant all of your wishes. What? What? I'm sure I'd love a piece of pumpkin pie if I only knew what the heck a crust was. Bring me his tail, and I will grant your requests. I have spoken. The wizard has spoken! Oh boy, we get to go on another adventure! Ugh, this is gonna be fun! Into the woods to the witch's lair! And with that, the gang set out towards the wicked witch's lair. They could tell that they were in evil territory, when the area got a weird, spooky, purple tint to it. This is very scary. I don't know if I can get through it. Huh? Hey, Miller! Miller, where did you go? Come on, you coward! I'm gonna get back there! Where'd they go? How should I know where they went? I don't even know where I went. Well, I couldn't have just vanished into thin air. Hello again, Mr. Troll? Is that what you are? A troll? No, oh, it doesn't really matter. It's just... Where'd you guys go? I hope it's not spooks. Sid! <laughs> Everybody's gone! Okay, Charlie. Time to go into ultimate bloodhound mode. Oh! And Charlie set off with determination to find his best friend, Sid. Meanwhile, Sid and the others were all zapped to... Uh, well, see for yourself. Uh, what happened? Uh, huh? Dig Flemmy! Welcome, little one. Ah! I am the Wicked Witch of the West. You killed my brother, and now you have a yellow brick GPS device that I want. So you better just 
give it before I sick my flying monkeys on you. We're not really flying right now because our wings are in the shop. But we can still fling poo. Okay, that's gross. Any objections? Um, if he doesn't, then I do. Huh? Charlie? <laughs> you alright, Sid? I told you I was part bloodhound. Ugh. Get him, flying monkeys! You might need some help. Come on it. Duty calls. <sighs> alright, guys, on tight. Gee, thanks! Hey, looks like you got a brain after all. Why did I not feel any claustrophobia during that whole time? Okay, I know I'm playing the Tin Man's role in this, but I gotta say this. Put him up, put him up! over you. What? Do you not know how to use your head? Uh, what, you mean like this? Alright, little one. Hand over the GPS or be destroyed. Okay, I'll give you the GPS. He's gotta get past my friends first. And the fight at that point got a little too violent, even for our tastes. But, uh, I, I'm sure you can use your imagination, yeah. But, uh, but after all this climactic action happened, the gang returned to the Wizard of Quaz. The brave travelers have returned! <laughs> We're back, Mr. Wizard. Ah! Welcome back, brave travelers. I trust you have brought back the witch's tail. I'm afraid we don't have the tail. What? But it's alright though, because I ended up coming up with so many clever fight tactics and stuff, I realized I had a brain this entire time. And I realized when I helped out everybody in battle, that I actually have had a heart this entire time. And when I nearly became a paraplegic, that's when I realized I always had a spine. We ended up fighting the witch until there was nothing left of him. So I'm afraid we didn't get what you sent us to get, but what we found was so much more. We found ourselves. I need that tail. Otherwise, I... I... <laughs> oh, he's a scallop? I didn't see that coming, did you? He's been an imposter this whole time. He's been a fake! A fake! We've been working for a clam this whole time? Well, I quit. <laughs> well, you guys have certainly exposed something that we never knew about our master. You name it, it's yours. Well, we just are enjoying having all these adventures in this beautiful world. Just a comfortable place to sleep in between adventures would be nice. Well, we have plenty of room here. You are welcome to live with us. Oh, we're gonna have the best toga parties, I think. <laughs> oh, I love toga parties. <sighs> There's no place like home. And home is where they understand you. <laughs> and 
And so Sid Snail, Charlie, and their new friends spent the rest of their lives living in the former wizard's castle, throwing awesome parties by night, and traveling, having all kinds of amazing adventures by day. Because life is an amazing thing. <sighs> well, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.